Hey everyone, welcome to this training. My name is Jamie. I'm excited you're here because SafeList is a great way to do some marketing when your budget is a little bit tighter. Um, the SafeLists are free uh, to join. There's plenty of offers that come along with the SafeList. When you first join, there's going to be multiple offers that come along, but if you keep scrolling to the bottom of every page, there's always a way to go around those things, so just ignore that. Uh, for some of you who are wondering, okay, what the heck is a SafeList? Well, that's fair. Um, a safe list is basically a mailing list where the members can mail each other. Uh, these emails are not considered spam because every member has opted in and confirmed the email address they're using. Uh, the, and so then safe list can then be used for advertising websites or businesses, opportunities, whatever they want to send uh, because it's part of a closed uh, community. So a couple of the things that have uh, people have complained about with SafeList is that it you know, puts way too much email in their inboxes, which is true, you're going to get a lot of email. Uh, however, there are some options. Now, if you're really good at working with your Gmail accounts and you can set up a bunch of folders and filters and all that other stuff, then that's great. That works well. Um, but if you're not, uh, my high, I highly, and even if you are, I still highly recommend Viral Inbox to try and uh, separate all of your um, SafeList activity away from your regular email just so that it becomes when it's time to go and do safe list work you log into viral inbox you do your safe list work you send out your emails you do all the stuff you're going to do and then you just can go back to your regular scheduled program if you will so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to log into viral inbox and show you a couple of the features as to why i think it's such a critical uh, asset to those using safe list as a marketing uh, option so as you can see here, when you create a new account with Viral Inbox, it's going to get you to create uh, a pa uh, an email uh, address that's going to be part of your Viral Inbox. So there's a lot of different options. Uh, the one that I choose, I chose was at buybox.me. Uh, there's plenty of different options to choose from. So you can look through them and pick whichever one you like. It doesn't really matter. Um, then of course the front part, or the first part you just put in whatever you want. Mine's Jamie St. Mars at buybox.me. So that's a valid email address. You can email me at it anytime. It works just fine. Um, and it's the one that I use for uh, Viral Inbox. I'm going to put in my password now. Now the thing that's, Im it's really important to remember this email address because it's, it's also a very simple way to utilize the concept of organizing your folders and I'll explain in a minute Log into this account I created a whole new account here so that I could help you guys uh, see it from a fresh perspective because I'm a member of 60 plus safe list and my old viral inbox account uh, has about a hundred thousand email in it or something like that it's a lot of email and, and didn't want to overwhelm anybody by taking a look at it and going holy man I don't think I can do it so and I think a lot of times when people are training they often forget to show people what it looks like when you first start as opposed to me who I've been doing safe lists for so long that I'm gonna drop you right into the middle of something that I've been doing for a long time and you're supposed to figure it all out right from scratch that's not really fair so let's do it this way where I have a new account here it's wide open uh, I have a few safe lists that I set up and pointed in this direction just so that I can have some stuff start to, f to fill in. As you can see, some of the emails are starting to fill in. And they're all separated by their own uh, folder. So the main inbox is here where there are no emails. And then, of course, these are all separated. Uh, so again, here's the email address that I told you about. That's Jamie Sank Mars at buybox.me. And there's a, you can set up uh, creating folders for individual uh, individual uh, safe list sorry I a little, drew a little blank there uh, you can manage your folders through here where you can create new folders add a new folder there it is so then here the folder name parent folder so you can do it by manually but there's a much easier way let's go back to mail so I'm going to pop over to, as you can see, uh, BeWeeble is the safe list and there's, a, and there's already 22 emails in there so that will be a good one for me to show you some examples on how you can click for credits in a quick and easy manner using Viral Inbox. So here we are, 
I'm going to go over to Beweeble just because I want to show you how to set this up. So this is, uh, I have an account here, but I'm not going to sign in per se. I'm just going to go over here and uh, start the, I'm going to create a new account, which is get more customers today. What is it? You say continue. Okay, that's me. Let's get started. So here's the sign up page. Very simple, standard stuff. First name, username, which is important for this safe list specifically because they use the username for logging in and it can be anything that you want it to be uh, they'll let you know if it's already being used I'm sure and then here's the kicker so if I want to create let's click back over here if I want to create this folder in viral inbox when I'm signing up for dot be weeble Me. So this is how I would set that up. I oh, know that's kind of small. I'm gonna make it bigger. There we go. So when I'm setting up my account, brand new account, let's just say it's a brand new account. You come in here, you put in your first name, username, all that stuff. It, click your I agree. But when you create the email, it's your Jamie Saint Mars at vibox.me. But you put in a dot and then whatever the name of the safe list is right there and it'll create the folder automatically inside viral inbox and it, you won't have to go through the process so you can create folders on the fly ultimately of any kind it's the original email address as you see right here and all you have to do is add in dot and then whatever you want the folder to be named I mean it, it doesn't have to be believable I could have named it uh, you know the B, the B safe list, right? Like I could, you can put anything you want in here. That only Beweeble emails will go in there. It only makes sense to call it Beweeble because that's the name of the safe list. So what I'm going to do now is I'll actually sign in because I have an account, so I don't need to actually go through the process of uh, go through the process of signing up. So that my username here is Jamie CM. And this is what I was talking about. Even just logging in, I already have an account. It's saying, hey, here's a big bonus, bonus, bonus. Right at the bottom here, no thanks. Take me to the members area. So that was a couple things I wanted to show you there. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the Weevil specifically in another, uh, in another training. So I'm going to go back to Viral Inbox. This was just to try and show you how that works. Uh, so now if you go over here, Now you're going to need to click for credits for some of the, this is how many emails have come in today. There's actually, see, they come in a lot. They come in hot and heavy pretty much. So you're going to want to select however many safe lists you're working on, and you're going to want to set aside some time to click for credits, which is going to require you to go in and open emails and let them. So I'll show you, for example, how it works. We'll click on this first one here. And then you see down in the bottom, let's change the size. Let's, let's scroll this up a bit. So you scroll down, it says right here, click here to earn credits okay so we click there it's going to open a new window see that it opened a new window there I'll earn 30 credits once I've been on this page for five seconds now this page didn't actually open with anything but I'm still going to get the credits as long as I wait now you're going to I can see where you're going with this and you're going to think man I'm going to sit there and wait every time I get what you're saying so what we'll do is we'll go here this is how you quick make it quicker okay you open it up go to here learn click here to earn credits great now instead of waiting we go back over see it says the same thing instead of waiting I go back to this box click the next email scroll down until it finds the click for credits great instead of waiting click this one go back grab another one open another email click for credits go back click the next one scroll down click for credits go back click the next one scroll down click here to earn credits that go to the next one scroll down click for credits you get the idea so you continue to do that and then if you go back to the first one that you opened which was this one you've already earned the credits so you can close it and the next one you've earned 30 credits because the time ran out go to the next one credits are earned close it go to the next one I still gotta wait seven seconds some of them actually can tell uh, if you've been watching or not so then you have to wait for those ones but they're 
and there you go and then you open up the next one you earn your 30 credits open up the next one you earn your 30 credits and there you go so now you just did five or six of those I can't remember how many I did exactly um, and so you got 150 200 credits somewhere in there uh, and I always come back in here and highlight the ones I open and delete them because that's the only way to keep these things under control so now you can do that for every email you can go to the next one you can go to list Joe which is another one I'm going to show you how to use and you know you just click on the first one in the bottom and you scroll down click here to view website earn credits go back go to this one find the spot where it says click here to earn credits you just keep moving along go down earn credits so there's now I opened up three of them so I just click back to the last, to that one and you wait 30 credits okay this one you got two more seconds to wait see when you open up five or six or seven by the time you get to the first by the time you get to the seventh one and you go back to the first one you've spent enough time so then you actually get all then all you gotta do is close the windows so there we go I just did 90 credits it, it's that simple and you go back in here again highlight the three that I did delete them to keep it clean so you can do that for every single safe list that you have here every single day every time ev or you go in every morning and you'll have some uh, some emails from every one of your uh, safe lists that you can open and click for credits. Uh, and then we're then I'm going to create a the videos for a number of safe lists to show you how to send out an email. So for now, I just wanted to show you how a viral inbox works and how you can use it to organize and click for credits to get yourself your credits built up so that you have uh, credits to use for mailing. All right, that's it for this video, and I hope that uh, that helped and that uh, you're looking at Viral Inbox as a potential uh, asset to your SafeList campaign. Take care, have yourself a great day.